Uh, we, this is Suicide Squad 33 from recently, I didn't remember, three years ago maybe. It was the DC Rebirthed series and I avoided that series because the writer was effing terrible. He wrote some of the lousiest Marvel comics around. Like when he had Ghost Driver quoting Austin Powers. And then this issue came out and it had a different writer. And I thought it was the start of a new run. But it's just a two part fill in. And it's also no better than I imagine the rest of the series was. This is unbelievably shit. You see, we are introducing a new character that this story revolves around. This guy up here, he is a new recruit to the Suicide Squad. And his entire shtick, this story's entire shtick, is doing fucking grassroots meta-commentary. On the red shirt concept. This new guy is a red shirt. He is now but a red shirt. He has been recruited onto the team. And he is clearly a red shirt. He has never appeared before. He doesn't have any powers. He's just a random guy who has been put on Suicide Squad. If you didn't know what a red shirt is, on Star Trek, they would always have cadets who you have never seen before in an episode. And they would be in red outfits. And whenever one of them was involved in the main story, it would be just so that they could die. Like whenever one of them is with Kirk and Spock when they beam down to a planet, it would just be so that there is a character with the main characters that could die. It would be very blatant. This guy you have never seen before, suddenly Ganon on a mission. It just be so that the aliens or the environment or whatever would kill them to establish a threat for the story. The thing with red shirts and commenting on the troll. Is that it is done. It is very, very done. In my opinion, it is done forever. There is no need for it. I will cite two things as examples of what should have retired the notion of lampshading or even lampooning red shirts. First is the movie Galaxy Quest, which has a character literally called Guy, who is a red shirt, and he is aware he is a red shirt, and he spends most of the movie concerned that he is going to die. It's brilliant. Galaxy Quest is brilliant. By Grabfar's Hammer. What a savings. Ganon watch Galaxy Quest. The other thing I will point out was really bad. In season one of the TV show Lost, there is a scene where a character explains to the viewer what a red shirt is. It's done really badly. He just points at a shirt that is red, and he goes, ah, uh, red shirt, and then another character asks what he means, and then he explains what a red shirt is. 
It's pointless and badly written, and it was only there to seem clever and to wink wink foreshadow that the guy saying it was ironically Ganon to die in four episodes time. It felt like a totally out of place bit of dialogue that was prompted for as little reason as possible and it was explaining a trope and thinking it was somehow clever by acknowledging the trope and then killing the character a few episodes later. I don't know. It was bad. It was just bad dialogue. But my point is, nobody needs to say anything about red shirts anymore. Galaxy Quest did it, and it should have been done after that. What you get is crap like this, or that lost episode, where it's just hitting on this idea, and doing nothing with it. It's like someone trying to show off that they know about red shirts and this trope from Art Star Trek. But they have nothing to say about it because everything worth saying was done in Galaxy Quest. Something good though is I noticed there are not many adverts in this. That's really neat to see. And I just turned to a page with the first advert on in the middle of the story. So yeah, the idea is that this guy is a red shirt on Suicide Squad. It is a two-parter, so obviously he isn't dying straight away. But everything said is just a retread of Galaxy Quest. He is not an interesting character. And there is not much to him beyond the idea. There is also a real condescending smug attitude to it all. Like the writer thinks... Yeah... Galaxy Quest did it, but they didn't do it as deep and philosophical as I can. The writer is one of those writers, by the way. Not really wrote much good in general. I actually... I actually really hate this issue. There is nothing on offer here besides... This meta idea about red shirts. The rest of the squad didn't get much today. They are used as accessories or dressing around this very weak shit. There are only two adverts in the middle of the story though. And I am very, very impressed with that. I really like that. Maybe after reading that Dax miniseries. Oh, there's another thing. Dax. Dax was a Star Trek character, wasn't she? It was the last from Becca. Terry... Terry Farrell. She has a name that makes her sound like a gruff working class labourer from the north. Someone who will sort out your roofing for you. We end with the cliffhanger that Red Shirt is in danger. And... And seriously... Man, I can't even be asked talking about any more... Waste of time, waste of paper even, meaningless drivel. It's not even worth tearing up. 
didn't they replace Terry Farrell on Becker in like the last season with someone really, really awful? I know early from Lost, he was on Becker, bringing this whole thing full circle. I didn't think anyone from Galaxy Quest had the slum to be in an episode of Becker. Maybe the black guy. I definitely will rate Galaxy Quest at all seven thumbs up.